Hi there. All right, let's see what he's got for us. He says, um, your brother's in trouble. He will help you, annoy you, quarrel with you, but above all, he is always there for you, says the father. Your brother's life is not so perpendicular as you had imagined. He is urged on by an impulse, which you cannot definitely analyze, um, though you're going to know it today. I am sending this message under appreciable mental strain. Find out whose betrayal and what feelings are coming after him. The Bible has much to say about you today. It could be in danger of facing a far more terrifying flight. Um, God's final judgment on earth. Love one another with brotherly um, affection, he says. The Bible commands us to love one another in the family of God, as we would love a brother or sister. Many of the famous sibling groups previously mentioned are known for their interpersonal conflict and even hatred for each other. Um, Cain killed Abel out of jealousy, thereby committing the first murder. He says, Genesis 4, 3-8. I'm going to make a note because I'm going to read it too. Jacob and Esau were at odds from the time they were in the womb and into adulthood. He says Genesis 25, 23, and 27. Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery in Egypt. He says Genesis 37, 12 through 28. And then he says, even Martha and Mary's story contains a dis disagreement, excuse me, between the sisters. Um, he says, Luke 10, 38 through 42. Jesus himself had siblings, brothers, James, Joseph, and Simon. He says, 1355 through 56. And Judas, an unknown number of sisters. He says, Matthew 12, 46. Jesus once used his family as a picture of his relationship with his followers. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers um, stood outside wanting to speak to him. Um, someone told um, him, your mother and brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother and who are my brothers? Um, pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and uh, sister and mother. I'm saying this. Jesus was not disrespecting his family um, or saying they were not important. Um, rather, he was liking a close family relationship to the bond he shares with everyone who believes in him. Um, in fact, Jesus' bond with believers is even stronger, since it is not marred by jealousy, anger, frustration, or disagreements. So what can we learn from the biblical examples of brothers and sisters? He says, it's important to understand that conflict between siblings is not part of God's plan for the family. Although God is ultimately used, has used each situation to bring about his will. Um, the conflict between some of these siblings caused murderous jealousy, grief, wars, and broken families. Um, there are a few principles that can be applied to any relationship. First, we are to love others in a way that reflects the agape love of Christ. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Uh, whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Um, that's First John, he says, 4, 7 through 8. Um, second, we are to show kindness to each other, treating those around us the way we want to be treated. He gives us Ephesians 4, 32 and Luke 6, 31. Then he says, this means that we should not only respond gracefully in the face of our siblings' anger or accusations, 
but also go out of the way to serve them. Um, he gives us John 13, 12 through 14. Then he says, God desires that siblings live in harmony and love with each other. Um, Psalms 131, or I'm sorry, excuse me, 133, 1. Then he says, brotherly love is used as an example of how believers should treat each other. He gives us Hebrews 13, 1 and 1 Peter 3, 8. Um, we know, though, he says, that in the real world, sibling, sibling rivalry, excuse me, exists. He says, brothers and sisters argue and fight each other, lie and trick each other, and generally treat each other horribly at times. Um, but Jesus said that the two most important commandments were to love God and to love um, our neighbor. Um, he gives us Matthew 22, 36 through 40. Then he says, we know Jesus intended neighbors to be mean, those in proximity to us. And no one is in closer proximity than our own brothers and sisters. He says the home should be a place where children learn to love each other. Um, love covers over all wrongs. He gives us Proverbs 13, 12. Then he says, including the causes of sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry can stem from jealousy, selfishness, and parental partiality. He says, real or perceived. Then he says, the sibling rivalry between Cain and Abel seems to have been caused by Cain's jealousy over the acceptance of Abel's sacrifice. Um, the causes of sibling rivalry can be overcome by kindness, respect, and of course, love. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, he says, um, parents should insist that their children treat each other uh, with kindness, respect, and love, and that parents should model the same. Um, do nothing out of selfish ambition, he says, or vain conceit. He says, rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. He says, I am giving you these commandments. Wow. I'm just reeling in my mind at how almighty and loving our Heavenly Father God is. We are so unworthy. Uh but he still is able to do whatever he wants. And he told me he doesn't have to even check with anyone. So as far as I'm concerned, all the glory um, goes to him and to him alone. Yes, Heavenly Father, I will share this message. Thank you. I am foolishly fond of you too. <laughs> all right, guys. See you later, okay? Bye.